In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the legs for this 16 inch crochet bear. And for this part of the project, you will need your yarn, stuffing, and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. For the legs of this bear, we're going to begin with a magic circle. Just wrap the yarn around your fingers. Reach through, bring up the loop, grab the yarn and chain one to secure your yarn. And now for round one, we're going to do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's four, five, and six. And now we'll grab the tail, give it a pull that closes up that hole and you can attach your stitch marker and at this point you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase into each stitch all the way around. And to do an increase, you'll insert your hook, do one single crochet, go back into that same stitch for another single crochet. And that is how you do an increase. And now you're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should end up with a total of 12 stitches. For round three, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, our repeating sequence will be two single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. For round five, our repeating sequence will be three single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, and one increase. And now you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round six, our repeating sequence will be four single crochet followed by one increase. And there's one, two, three, four, and then one increase. And so now you'll continue to repeat four single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round seven, our repeating sequence will be five single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, and now one increase. And you'll continue to repeat five single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 42 stitches. For round eight, our repeating sequence will be six single crochet followed by one increase. There's two, three, four, five, six. And now one increase. And you'll continue to repeat six single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 
48 stitches. For rounds 9 through 12, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of round 12, you should still have a total of 48 stitches. And it will also be a good time to weave in that beginning tail and cut off the excess yarn. For round 13, we'll do a repeating sequence of six single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one decrease. So go into this stitch, bring up a loop, go to the next stitch, bring up a loop that gives you your three loops, grab the yarn, pull through all three. That is a decrease. And now you're going to continue to repeat six single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 42 stitches. For round 14, we'll do a repeating sequence of five single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat five single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round 15, a repeating sequence will be four single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, decrease. And now you'll continue to repeat four single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round 16, our repeating sequence will be eight single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat eight single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 27 stitches. For rounds 17 through 36, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've come to the end of round 36, you should still have 27 stitches. And you're also going to want to go ahead and start to add your stuffing and continue to add the stuffing as you go. And here I've come to the end of round 36. I've removed my stitch marker, added the rest of my stuffing, and now to finish the leg, we're going to pinch the opening closed, take your crochet hook, and you're going to take the hook through the stitches on both sides and do a single crochet. And we're going to continue to do this all the way across making sure to line up those stitches so it stays even. And you're just gonna keep on going all the way across. And here I'm almost all the way across. I'm gonna go into this final stitch here, do one last single crochet, and then I'm gonna catch the edge of that side of the stitch and do a slip stitch and then tie off. And now you'll cut your yarn 
And when you cut your yarn, make sure you leave a long enough tail to sew the leg onto the body. And you will need to make two of these. Once you have made both of the legs, you're ready to attach them. So you're gonna thread your yarn needle. And I've already got one of the legs attached here. And so we're going to line it up so it's at the center point of the bottom of the body. And we're gonna go under a stitch in the body and through a stitch in the leg. I'm gonna pull nice and tight. And then you're going to continue to do this all the way across. So under a stitch in the body and through a stitch in the leg. Move to the next one, under a stitch in the body and through a stitch in the leg. Making sure as you go that you are keeping this line straight. So under a stitch in the body, through a stitch in the leg. You'll continue to do that all the way to the end. And here I've worked my way all the way across. I've come to the end here. So I'm gonna go under a stitch and then I'm gonna run my yarn needle through one of those side stitches to help pull this flat up against the body. And then I'll just run my yarn needle through Pull nice and tight. And then just go under a stitch. And before pulling it all the way, take your yarn needle through that loop and give it a pull. And that ties it into a knot so it stays secure. And then we'll just poke the yarn needle through the body one last time and snip off the excess yarn. And if you pull it a little bit tight, just as you're cutting it, it'll pop into the body and then the tail is completely hidden and our legs are now attached.